This is called Commemorative Poem to Thomas. Thomas, you were the only one there when I was bleeding on the bathroom floor. You were the only one there for me behind those locked doors. I remember the text. Are you okay? And what I decided to share is, I'm good, smiley face, as I heard my mother's phone buzz from downstairs. I sometimes think it's so unfair to live in a self-inflicted nightmare when fake smiles and fake stares is what my face is forced to wear because seeing the ones I love in pain is too much to bear. You taught me that smile, Thomas. You taught me that stare, Thomas. You taught me what to wear, Thomas. Long sleeves and long pants. You're the voice in my head that rants. How much longer will we dance this dance? That is my question. Thomas, you are my obsession. You are the progression of how my happiness lessens the self-critic filled with aggression, the self-regression of my expression that gives all that it holds precious in trade for my protection that wants reflection and then correction to reach this illusion of perfection so we don't have to face rejection from other people's perception. Thomas, you are the personification of my depression. I am a dreamer facing the Grim Reaper but a firm believer that the seeker and cautious reader that reads through the darkest features will feel richer and that a man like Thomas can be a great teacher. The most important thing you have taught me is to treasure happiness. Because life is anything but fabulous and it will try to beat you down until you wish you didn't exist. You drag me down, down to the cement ground with a series of mental breakdowns with voices in my head that echo and rebound until I drown in the sound smiles are something you taught me to treasure when they are around. Laughter is something you taught me to treasure when they are the only sound that surrounds. Happiness is something you taught me to treasure when it is found. Thomas, we have been together for so long and through this bond you have taught me how to be strong, that bone, bones may break from my mistakes, and with those broken bones one day I'll have to climb a staircase with a heartbreak, a headache, and an earthquake, but no matter how much pain I intake, I need to keep climbing, because I was meant for more than to die in this place, I was meant to be something great, I have dreams to chase, and that hope is something that should never, ever be erased. You made my mood twist and put slits on my wrist to the point where I was breaking the bits, losing hope and happiness, and having other people witness as pushing them away, pretending it's none of their business, pushing my mind past its limits. Thomas, you are the one I have to live with. Thomas, the critic of myself, the one that damaged my health. You taught me that I can't do this without help. You taught me that talking to others can help you recover from being a cutter, that it's better than having to watch other people suffer that in storming weather, it's always better to face it together. So Thomas, I would like to thank you. Thank you for making me realize the people who love me and the friends that would help me any second of any day. I thank you for making me realize how many people care, how many people would be willing to, to share as you both sit in the car chairs in the chilling 3 a.m. air. How that with family and friends, you don't have to pretend to be okay because they will always lend a hand to try to help you mend. And no matter what happens in the end, they will always be there and to be, they will always be willing to do it again. Thank you for putting me through my darkest nights and one of my hardest fights, filled with fright that gave me the insight that everything may not always be all right. Everything may not always be a delight, but that there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. Thank you for showing me the daylight that made me realize how important is my life. Thomas, my obsession, the progression of how my happiness lessens, the self-critic filled with aggression, the self-aggression of my expression that gives all that I hold precious in trade for my protection, that wants reflection and then correction to reach this illusion of perfection so we don't have to face rejection from other people's perception, the personification of my depression. Thomas, I say thank you and goodbye. Until we meet again. Thanks.